Dr. Joe Congeni, Acro Children's Hospital, with us in studio this morning. Good morning, Dr. Joe. Hey, Ray. How you doing this morning? I'm doing very well. Great. Okay, what do you got today? So I wanted to talk about a kind of injury that occurs in running sports. It's not just the cross-country kids, the soccer, the basketball, especially younger <laughs> kids, 8th grade, ninth grade, 10th grade, maybe still even some juniors because there's a growth plate on the crest of the hip. One of the things we see quite a bit are stress fractures in this growth plate. And when kids are running, the rotational motion, the oblique muscles that attach there from the ab abdomen muscles kind of pull on this growth plate and we get stress fractures in it quite frequently. And kids kind of get this perception it's a stitch in the side. You know, and that's kind of a breathing thing and a stitch that you get intermittently and it comes and goes. And <clears throat> if it lasts longer than three days, five days a week, it's not just a stitch on, in the side and it, it, and it may be worth getting that evaluated. So we see these stress fractures a lot in growing kids. There's a growth plate right on the crest of the hip, the bony part of the crest of the hip on the side. And <clears throat> not only the typical rest from aggravating activity, doing other things, cross training. Number two, rehabilitation to build those muscles up and improve flexibility and strength. But really a big help to us has been in the last five or seven years, we've been doing a lot of video analysis of the gait. And so many of our young kids have told us what a huge benefit. They never really knew how they ran. Sometimes we just have we have a couple experts in physical therapy that just eyeball these kids running, but sometimes we have a three camera video capture and actually sit down, look at it with the kids, evaluate it with some running analysis issues. And by way of getting them on an appropriate strengthening program and also working on some of the mechanics of running, we get rid of these things and these kids are on their way and doing very well. So the video analysis thing is relatively a little bit newer and been a huge benefit for a lot of our runners to get rid of a lot of running injuries like this stress fracture in the growth plate. It's interesting with the video because we've had some of the video done I did with, with Rocco in regards to running and looking at the form so we slowed it down That's frame right. by frame and looking on how you can increase speed and what you're doing wrong physically to get better speed i didn't think about it but you use the video i'm sure stage by stage frame by frame to see about their gait and how they're doing to maybe alleviate an injury that's really nice you've got it exactly <clears throat> that's exactly what we do slow it down sit down with the athlete watch hey arm swing or your you know one side more than the, the way other. you're landing <clears throat> the way you're landing increasing your uh your stride length that they talk about stride lengths really really important decreasing or increasing your stride length how you land and not you know for a long time i wondered can you really change that and definitely in the last five or ten years of sports medicine and we've proven yes you can do a very good job changing some of those gate and uh you know those gate things that may be related to recurrent injury mm -hmm. anything else on this nothing much more on that hey why i have you here i heard uh, the hoban football team devastating injury the young man with a broken leg is that the prognosis broken leg <clears throat> um no it's actually a multi it's it's, it's uh mm -hmm. you know i mean in general terms it's a complex knee injury oh okay further evaluation to be done but it is complex it's one of those things that when you're out covering you really worry about it's it's a, a pretty significant injury that we know of now total evaluation hasn't been done in fact it'll be done today when i get back to the hospital and uh but it is a very it's a complex injury and a tough injury and you know <clears throat> this sport of american football every time you step on the field you never know because that's that's i think that's part of the intrigue of this sport is you never know you can get a very significant injury a devastating injury a career threatening injury but actually i think most of the evidence that we're looking at now looks like he'll recover enough to get back to the sport of football the other thing we saw in baseball joe and we're talking about dr joe congeni akron children's hospital uh max scherzer pitcher for washington couldn't yeah. pitch the other night because of uh neck spasms right and we often see these nba guys they'll get back spasms and they'll miss a week or so talk a little bit about spasms how do they occur is that wear and tear or is it a case by case thing? It's it's uh, the muscles that line the spine are the thickest, strongest muscles in the body, called the paraspinous muscles. And a lot of times, what happens is they will be injured directly, and then the body kind of wants to protect that area. And the protection mechanism is to kind of knot up around there and go into spasm. So you can get spasm if you have an underlying problem like a stress fracture or a disc or other issues that are structural. 
But a lot of times you can get muscle spasm just with a muscular injury. And in those cases, amazingly, you, it can be a day-to-day, week-to-week kind of injury where you break the spasm, kids are doing great, they're back playing in a very short period of time versus, oh my gosh, this kid has a herniated disc, that's why they had spasm, they're going to be out three to six months. So it's very variable as to what injury might be underlying it, but it's kind of the body's response to mm. injury, and that's kind of how it if you will, splints the area. The body is smart enough to want to splint the area where the pain is coming from and the injury is. And so people will go on to having spasm in a lot of these cases. That's good education. Thank you. Good seeing you again. Thanks for coming in. Okay, Ray. Have a great week. You too. Dr. Joe Congeni, Akron Children's Hospital. He joins us Wednesdays at this time.